Now, swifts are incredible birds. They very rarely stop flying. They even sleep while they're in the air, but they do need to nest when they arrive here in the southeast of England to breed. Conservationists in Broadstairs are hoping their new boxes will provide a home for a new colony of the birds and help provide a much needed boost for the endangered species. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has more. They're supreme aerialists, mating, sleeping and feeding on insects on the wing. The only time swifts touch down is to breed. But they're in trouble and so conservationists are giving them a helping hand by providing spaces in which to nest. I believe this is Kent's first fully artificial swift colony. We've put seven boxes up because they're a gregarious bird. They like to nest in colonies and they want the company of each other. The problem swifts face is thought to have a lot to do with the crash in insect populations and modern building methods that don't leave space for the birds. With swifts, we can do a lot. We can make and nest places in our homes. We can tolerate them in our gables and our roofs nesting up there. We can not block them out when we have soffits and roofs replaced. Um, we can put up nest boxes and we can press our local authorities to stop using insecticides. Each of the new boxes has three holes. So there's space for 21 pairs here, high on the roof of Broadstairs College. Potentially a welcoming sight for the Swifts, which at this time of year are making their way to the UK from Africa. We're hoping that the project will evolve over time so that we'll be able to have calling sounds and we'll be able to have cameras in the boxes and we'll increase the number of boxes up here so that we can ensure that this you know, declining species of Swift have somewhere to stay. Playing recorded calling sounds of Swifts is a tried and tested way of getting them to find your box. It's expected it'll be young birds fledging from a local colony that'll end up here. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Broadstairs.